Okay, so I'm going to be showing you that Yahuwah is the only God. Okay, and you should never worship another God because Yah is a jealous God. For Yahweh the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, Hebrews, lest the anger of Yahweh the Lord thy God be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the Gentile people which are round about you, Hebrews. Zeus is a Greek god, and Jesus is a name that is married onto their Greek god, just like if I said Yahshua, that is a name that's married onto Yah, which means Yah saves. And then you have Buddha. The Chinese people created a false god in their image. Then you have Shiva, and they created a false god, which are the Indians. Then beware, lest thou forget Yahweh the Lord, which brought the Hebrews forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou, Hebrew, shall fear Yah the Lord thy God, serve him, and swear by his Yahweh's name. And when thy son asked thee in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments with Yahweh the Lord our God has commanded you? Then thou shalt say unto thy son, Hebrews, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and Yahweh the Lord brought us Hebrews out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand. And Yah the Lord showed signs, wonders, great sore upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he, Yah, brought us Hebrews out from thence, that he, Yah, might bring us in to give us the land of Yahsrael, which he, Yah, swore unto our father. And Yahweh the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear Yahweh the Lord our God for our good always, that he, Yah, might preserve us alive as it is this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before Yahweh the Lord our God, as he, Yah, commanded us Hebrews. These words Yahweh the Lord spoke on to all your assembly in Mount Zionai out of the midst of the fire of the cloud and of the thick darkness with a great voice. And he, Yah, added no more. And he, Yah, wrote the laws in the tablets of stone and delivered them on to me, Moses. And it came to pass when ye Hebrews heard the voice of Yah out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain did burn with fire that ye Hebrews came near unto me, Moses, even all the heads of the tribes and your elders. And ye said, Behold, Yah the Lord our God has showed us, Hebrews, his glory and his Yahuwah's greatness. And we have heard his Yahuwah's voice out of the midst of the fire. And we have seen this day that Yah, the living God, does talk with man, and he, Yahuwah, liveth. Now therefore, why should we die for this great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of Yah the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. 1 Chronicles 16 and 26, For all the gods of the Gentile people, the Greeks, the Europeans, the Romans, the Syrians, the Palestinians, the Asian, the Indians, ETC, any non-Hebrew nation, are idols. But Yahuwah the Lord made the heavens. Give unto Yahuwah the Lord thy God the glory. Do unto his Yahuwah's name. Bring an offering and come before Yah, worship Yahweh the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh the Lord, for he, Yah, is good, for his Yahuwah's mercy endureth forever. And say ye, save us, O Yah, the living God of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy Yahuwah's holy name and glory in thy Yahuwah's praise. Blessed be Yahuwah the Lord thy God of Yahsrael forever and ever. And all the people said Amen and praised Yahuwah the Lord. To offer burnt offerings unto Yahuwah the Lord upon the altar of the burnt offering continually morning and evening to do according to all that is written in the law of Yahuwah the Lord, which are the laws of Moses, which he Yahuwah commanded the children of Yahsrael.